Mercy Watson, Princess in Disguise by Kate DeCamelo, illustrated by Chris Van Dusen. Chapter 1. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Mr. Watson, Mrs. Watson, and Mercy live together in a house at 54 Deco Drive. One October afternoon in the living room of the house of Deco Drive, Mrs. Watson had an idea. Darling, said Mrs. Watson. Yes, said Mr. Watson. Halloween is coming. It most certainly is, said Mr. Watson. I believe that Mercy should dress up, said Mrs. Watson. Mercy opened her one eye. I believe that Mercy should dress up and go trick-or-treating, said Mrs. Watson. Mercy opened both eyes. She liked very much the sound of the word treating. What a splendid idea, said Mr. Watson. But what should Mercy be? Chapter 2 should mercy be a ghost asked mr watson i don't think so said mrs watson a pumpkin not quite right said mrs watson a pirate a robot a witch no 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 said mrs watson mercy sighed she closed her eyes she fell asleep what then said mr watson what should mercy be i am quite certain said mrs watson that mercy should be a princess of course, said Mr. Watson. It is obvious. Why didn't I think of that? You must go and find her a tiara, said Mrs. Watson, and I will make her a princess dress. I am on the case, said Mr. Watson. Oh, mercy, said Mrs. Watson. You will be so lovely. You will be beautiful beyond compare. Chapter 3. Mrs. Watson measured Mercy from snout to tail. She measured her from side to side. She measured Mercy around and around and around. Heavens, said Mrs. Watson. I hope I have enough fabric. When Mercy woke up from her nap, Mrs. Watson was smiling at her. Darling, said Mrs. Watson, your dress is finished. Oink, said Mercy. I, th I know, said Mrs. Watson. It is stunning, isn't it? Let's try it on. Mrs. Watson put Miss Mercy's right front leg into the dress. Mercy took her right front leg out. Mrs. Watson put Mercy's left front leg into the dress. Mercy took her left front leg out. Goodness gracious, said Mrs. Watson. Please hold still or we will never get this dress on. My darling, my dear, called Mr. Watson. I am home and I have located the tiara. Oh, Mr. Watson, said Mrs. Watson. I am having a difficult time here. Mercy does not want to wear her princess dress. Perhaps, said Mr. Watson, you should tell her about the treats. Chapter 4 Mercy perked up her ears. She liked treats. Her favorite treat of all was toast with a great deal of butter on it. My darling, my dear, said Mr. Watson, if you wear this dress, everyone in the neighborhood will give you treats. Mercy closed her eyes. She could see it quite clearly. But if you want the treats, you must wear the dress, said Mr. Watson. Mercy sighed. She allowed Mrs. Watson to put her left front leg and her right front leg into the dress. She allowed Mrs. Watson to zip the dress up. She allowed Mr. Watson to put the tiara on her head. Utterly regal, said Mrs. Watson. A porcine wonder. Vision, said Mr. Watson. Mercy's stomach growled. She was looking forward to the treats. Chapter 5. On Halloween night, the doorbell rang at the Lincoln sister's house. Ding dong. Sister called baby Lincoln. Somebody is at the door. Of course somebody is at the door, said Eugenia. It is Halloween. People are expected to be at the door when it's Halloween. Meow, said General Washington, Eugenia Lincoln's new cat. Trick or treat, shouted Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson. Oink, said Mercy. Mercy is a princess, said Mr. Watson. She looks exactly like a princess, said Baby. She looks like a pig in a cheap dress, said Eugenia. Oh, sister, said Baby. In my opinion, said Eugenia, pigs should not go trick-or-treating. In my opinion, pigs should not pose as princesses. Meow, said General Washington. Oh, dear, said Baby Lincoln. Eugenia Lincoln slammed the door. Chapter 6 Eugenia seems upset, said Mr. Watson. Yes, said Mrs. Watson. She does. Mercy's stomach growled. Where are the treats, she wondered. Where is the toast? 
Look, said Mr. Watson, I think that baby is trying to tell us something. Oink, said Mercy. She kicked up her heels. She ran around the back of the ha Lincoln sister's house. Follow the princess, said Mr. Watson. Chapter 7. Baby Lincoln was waiting at the back door. Shh, she said. I'm afraid that sister is not in a holi Halloween sort of mood, but I could not let you leave without your treats. Yum, said Mr. Watson. What a delightful race, said Mrs. Watson. What shall we choose, Mercy? Ding dong, baby, shouted Eugenia. Where is that treat bowl? I'm on my way, sister, shouted baby. Hurry, hurry, baby said. Take something. Mercy examined the treats closely. She did not see one single piece of toast. But she did detect the faintest smell of butter. Butter, thought Mercy. Oh, said baby, Mercy. Chapter 8. Oink, said Mercy. She snuffled the floor. There was a lot of candy. There was a lot of candy everywhere. Candy was not toast, but it would have to do. Mercy munched a lollipop. She ate a lemon drop. She chewed a caramel. What is going on here? shouted Eugenia. Why is the candy on the floor? And what is that pig doing in my kitchen? She's not a pig, said Mr. Watson. She's a princess. Mercy crunched a butter barrel. Mmm, thought Mercy. Butter. Chapter 9. Get out of my kitchen immediately, screamed Eugenia Lincoln. Well, said Mr. Watson, I think it might be time for us to skedaddle. Yes, indeed, said Mrs. Watson. We still have quite a lot of trick-or-treats to do. Come along, Mercy. Mercy was eating her second butter barrel. It was delicious, and there were many more butter barrels on the floor. Meow, said General Washington. He swatted at the ruffles on Mercy's dress. Yep, said Mercy. General Washington took a swipe at Mercy's tiara. Yow, said Mercy. The cat, said Mr. Watson. The pig, said Eugenia Lincoln. Oh dear, said Baby Lincoln. The cat ran out of the kitchen. The pig ran after him. It was a chase. Mercy loved chase. Chapter 10. General Washington ran. Mercy ran after General Washington. Eugenia ran after Mercy. Baby ran after Eugenia. Mr. Watson ran after Baby. Mrs. Watson ran after Mr. Watson. Meow, said Wa General Washington. Wink, said Mercy. Pig, said Eugenia. Sister, said Baby. Darling, said Mr. Watson. Dear, said Mrs. Watson. General Washington ran through the living room and back into the kitchen. He ran out the open back door. Mercy was in hot pursuit. Her dress felt a bit snug, but it did not slow her down. She was having an excellent time. Chapter 11. Frank and Stella are brothers and sisters. Frank and Stella live at 50 Deco Drive. Look at that, said Stella. What is it, said Frank. It's a Halloween parade, said Stella. Stand back, said Frank. It looks dangerous. Wait for me, Stella shouted. I want to be in the parade too, Stella shouted. Frank, Stella. Chapter 12. General Washington raced to the end of Deco Drive. He ran up the trunk of an old oak tree. Mercy stopped. Behind Mercy, Eugenia did not stop. Eugenia bumped into Mercy. Baby bumped into Eugenia. Mr. Watch Watson bumped into Baby. Mrs. Watson bumped into Mr. Watson. Stella bumped into Mrs. Watson. And Frank bumped into Stella. Mercy looked up at General Washington. She sighed. She sat down. The chase was over. Mercy was very tired. She was very hot. Her tiara was pinching her ears. Her pink dress felt terribly snug. And even porcine princesses cannot climb trees. Chapter 13 Well, said Stella, I guess the parade is over. Nothing is over, Eugenia Lingen shouted. She stared up into the branches of the tree. General Washington said Eugenia, come down here immediately. Meow, said General Washington. General Washington, said Eugenia, I will not take no for an answer. Meow, said General Washington. Cats don't usually do what you ask them to do, said Stella. Nonsense, said Eugenia. General Washington always obeys orders. I think that cat is stuck, said Frank. Nonsense, said Eugenia. 
General Washington is far too intelligent to get stuck. Eugenia called General Washington again and again, but General Washington would not move. I think, said Mr. Watson, it might be a good time to call the fire department. Chapter 14. At the fire department, the phone rang. Ned took the call. How's that? said Ned. General Washington? said Ned. Stuck up at a tree? said Ned. Right, said Ned. We're on our way. That was a strange call, Ned said to Lorenzo. Apparently, a general is stuck in a tree. Hmm, said Lorenzo. What is the address? Somewhere on Deco Drive, said Ned. Deco Drive, said Lorenzo. Is that where the pig lives? Oh boy, said Ned. We'd better hurry. Chapter 15. When Ned and Lorenzo got to Deco Drive, they saw a large oak tree. Underneath the oak tree was a pig in a pink dress with a tiara on her head. It is just as I suspected, said Lorenzo. There is that pig. Yes, said Ned. But where is General Washington? Thank goodness you are here, said Baby Lincoln. What took you so long, said Eugenia Lincoln. Is that General Washington, said Ned. He pointed to the gray cat high in the oak tree. Of course it is, said Eugenia Lincoln. Meow, said General Washington. Lorenzo got a ladder from the truck. He leaned the ladder against the tree. He climbed up the ladder. He reached out the and grabbed hold of General Washington. He climbed down the ladder. He put General Washington into Eugenia's arms. Hooray, everyone cheered. You can always count on the fire department, said Mr. Watson. That is what I say. Oh, says Mrs. Watson, we should celebrate. We should have a party. Mercy perked up her ears. Parties, in Mercy's experience, always, almost always involved toast. Chapter 16. Everyone was in the Watson's kitchen. Everyone was gathered around the Watson's table. Have you ever had a to the toast here? Lorenzo asked Stella. No, said Stella. You are in for a treat, said Ned. The toast here is excellent. Eating food at a stranger's house is potentially dangerous, says Frank. But we are not strangers, said Mrs. Watson. We are your neighbors. Meow, said General Washington. Bah, said Eugenia Lincoln. Who needs neighbors? Oh, sister, said Baby. Here, have a butter barrel. My darling, my dear, my poor son princess, said Mr. Watson, aren't you glad you put on the pink dress? Mercy put her snout up in the air. She sniffed. Bread was toasting. Butter was melting. The pink dress was terribly snug, but it was worth it. Oink, said Mercy. Happy Halloween, my darling, said Mr. Watson. Happy Halloween, everyone.